G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Heading to the new group shelter by the modern adults shelter on the Blumman track. Uh, I'm heading from north to south. So when we get to the spur trail, I'll show you roughly where it is. The Monodox Spur Trail to the shelter. Now, heading to the group one, we're going to go the opposite way. We've got the Wargle up on the tree there, pointing to the left. So, we're going to continue left until we find the sign to the group shelter. Just cross Herald Road and come past the boot station. And we've come up to the sign for the Al Yiwa Mia group shelter. So there we go, we've got the sign there. The track goes up there, 450 meters. And if you're not stopping there, you'll carry on past and keep heading south. So, can have a look at a shelter. Made it to the El Mia group campsite on the Good Woman Track. And views, aren't they fantastic? They picked a beautiful spot. Now, I'm just walking away from the shelter at the moment. And we've got all this area here. You can see where people have pitched their tents on it. So, yeah. Fairly level. You probably fit. I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> if you don't mind a few hilly bits, but probably you, there's enough for one, two, three, four, probably five or six, fairly level. So you'll be sleeping flat. But there's the shelter. Water tanks. We've got two water tanks, one on either side. And remember, be sparing with the water, only use what you need, don't waste any. So I like this idea where they've got a pipe coming up from the ground. So once the water level gets to that point, it's going to be uh, needing to be refilled or need a bit of rain. On the back panel here we've got some colour bond and some clear colour bond so you can see through. Got some lighting. We've got, got a rake there, which is standard in all campsites and shelters, so you can clean up if you've been here. We've got a log book in the box there, so you can sign in to let them know where you come from and where you're going. So if anything happens, they can find you. Have this bench all the way along the length. And down the other end of this bench. We've got a small little Trojan shovel there. We've got a normal broom, dustpan and brush, and your second water tank. 
and under cover we've got two picnic benches I'm gonna sit in here look at the view you get I tell you this is beautiful it's probably one of the best views on the shelves that I've seen that's just fantastic Let's go explore a bit more. We've got another two picnic benches here out in the open. So if you want to get a nice suntan and relax. And look at that fantastic view between the trees. That's just brilliant. We've got a fire pit. There's some logs cut so you can use these as seats. I'm just amazed by the view, it's just beautiful. Let's go and explore. The, this campsite, they say, has been built for up to 30 people. So, it's a fairly decent sized one. So let's follow the sign up here. That's for the dunny, the toilet, and the tent pitches. Now I'll do, we'll go to the dunny first because the dunny or your toilet is a composting toilet. And if you haven't seen my videos before, with the composting toilets, you're not allowed to drop baby wipes or anything like that down there. And ladies, if it's that time of the month, you uh, got to take them out with you. you got to carry it away because that will destroy the composting. And also, no chemicals, no food waste to be dropped down there again. It will cause flies, maggots, and it will end up stinking. That's, it's a fair size toilet block over there, isn't it? Looks like it's going to be a double one. Bit like they've got at the Mount Cook group campsite. They've got a reflector on the sides beside the door. So if you come out at night with your head torch, you'll pick the reflector up. See, there's the reflector. So can I have a look inside? Uh, this is it. <laughs> couple of coat tops on the wall. You dunny. And somebody's been kind enough to leave toilet paper behind. One thing you've got to remember when you're out on the Bible One track is you can't be guaranteed there will be toilet paper. So you really need to carry your own as a spare one. They do ask you to put the toilet seat down and close the doors after you. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, to help protect any of the wildlife falling down the dunny. Let's go around this side. These ones kind of ruin it because when you've got the small wooden ones, you can open the door and sit there and just look out with your loo with a view. But with this type, because of all the privacy panels and that, we lose that. Again, this is the other one. You've got your toilet there, some spare loo rolls and a toilet roll. But no bench in this one. No hooks either on the wall. These doors do have bolt locks on the inside, so you can lock it when you're in there so nobody walks in on you. Beautiful. Okay, let's go find the tent pitches. Let's go back down the track here. When I started walking this morning, it was quite chilly and cold. And I thought, oh, I've got a jacket or anything, so I've just got my t shirt on. But it's warming up. I think the forecast is about 20 degrees centigrade today, so. As long as I keep moving, it's not going to be too bad. Okay, just down from the toilets. 
grab some tent pitches up here. And when I say size of a tent, what I'm going to do is the average two person hiking tent. So it's like the first one we come to here on the right hand side. You could fit quite comfortably two tents on there. Fairly level, compacted, comfortable. Got the, uh, the log there to sit on as a seat. Another one there. Let somebody try to burn that one, which is dark buggers. Burn it politely. Let's carry on. And the next one we come to is opposite that one on the left. You could squeeze two tents on there, or a palace for one. And that's going to buy an average hiking tent. I know some of them I've got, some would fit on there two, maybe three times. And uh, others will probably only get one on there, with no room for the second. Next to that is a smaller one. So fairly level. Right next to the loo. No. Yep, there is a log there, sorry. There's one log there for you to sit on. Carry on up here to the end bit, and here's another one. Yeah, you, you'd get one on there comfortably, but I don't think you'd get two average hiking tents on that one. There are stones, so you're going to kick a few stones away, and if you're going to use your tent and you want to protect it, get yourself a ground sheet or a footprint if that's what you know it has, just so it protects the bottom of your tent. So if anything is going to get damaged, it'll be the ground sheet, and they're a lot cheaper to replace than a tent. Let's go look at some more. So what's that we found? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four tent pitches over there. Like I said, you could probably fit up to seven if you don't mind. It'll be a bit uneven next to the shelter. Let's come up here. There you go, one on the left is behind the shelter. Now with a squeeze, a tight squeeze, you'd get two on that, but I'd say realistically one on there. A small log to sit on over there. And a nice larger one here, which is fairly flattened out on top, so it'd be nice and comfy on your rear. Now, I like the way they've done these where you're not just walking straight down the path, you've got the paths curving. So it just feels so much nicer. Another one fairly straight, they've all been fairly straight, level, should I say, when I say straight. Pictures. You comfortably, comfortably fit even the biggest two person tent I've got on there with a little bit of room to spare. Let's carry on a bit more. And next to that, we've got another one. Big enough for one. That, uh, yeah, that, that, that's got a sl slight uh, slope to it, coming up and then down on the other side. But very little, so I don't think that'd bother you too much. Let's come over to here. I've got a couple more. Yeah, looks like I've got plenty of tent pitches. Yeah, that's comfortably one on there. And again, you've got your log to sit on. Fairly level. Now, with pigs, you might need a, a bush hammer, a stone, or a small rock to knock them in on these, this ground. Now, this one would fit two on here quite comfortably. Fairly level, not much of the sense of the larger stones on it. Now, if you're going to be using a sleeping pad, an uh, air, air one, with inflatable one, or even a self inflating one, that will smooth most of these out. Let's carry on down. Right, the next one we come to. I 
And that's two. There's two down here. These got the best views, look at them. Nothing in the way. And we've got one here on the left. That should fit comfortably, one on there. Hello. Another one up here. You can fit at a squeeze, you can get two average hiking tents on that one. Nice and level. Nice run off of all these pictures I've noticed. So if it is raining heavy or something, then there's always a fairly decent runoff. So I haven't seen one yet that you can get uh, a pond build up where you can get your tent flooded. And the last two. Now this is the flattest one I've seen. This is nice. Under the shade of the trees, still decent view through the trees. Big enough, quite comfortably two on that. So then opposite that, and that's metres away, you could squeeze two on this one. But one comfortably. And that's a lovely shade. I do really like this campsite. I'm going to have to come up here and stop and see what it's like. Because it's just beautiful up here.